Monroeville Mall. Today we are at the Monroeville Mall to see something special. This was once the filming location of Dawn of the Dead, but that's not what we're here to see today. Let's go inside, check out this secret surprise. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. And here you go, you've got our history of the Monroeville Mall. Dawn of the Dead, George A. Romero. So when Scott and I are actually here doing this, this weekend was the Night of the Living Dead festival and I didn't know it. So you might see a lot of people walking around that are fans of Night of the Living Dead. And you can see they made the Guinness World Records for the largest gathering of zombies involved in 894 participants at Monroeville Mall. October of 2006. Pretty cool. This is so cool that inside of one of the filming locations they now have a Living Dead Museum. Take a look at this. Now open on the Romero Court. So this is what happened this weekend that we kind of missed out on. Look at all the actors that were here from the movies. And like I said, I gotta come back. I'm gonna have to do this at some point because I I love these movies and I would love to participate in one of these weekends, see what it's all about. Look at this amazing array of shirts. I'm boss up here. News, weather, zombie reports. <laughs> and this is for this weekend, Living Dead Weekend, 1985. Evan City. That's where Night of the Living Dead was filmed, of course. That is so great. Look for the name of the rescue station nearest you and make your way to that location as soon as possible. And if we could have got here yesterday, we could have met world famous Tom Savini, the man who did the special effects and who uh, directed the remake, which I love the remake, so I would have loved to have met him and got an autograph, but just didn't work out that way. Look, zombie, that's a great one. We'll have to buy one of these on the way out. <laughs> zombie capital of the world. Here we have a painting. That's a great one. Now what's crazy is that George Romero in Night of the Living Dead, he never refers to them as zombies. That's just something people always started saying, but these are all signed from different Living Dead weekends. So my plan is to come to next year's. I always wanted to come to one of these. I just honestly, I thought that this year's was canceled as well. So this is great. This talks about the making of Dawn of the Dead. I'm not gonna go over that because my plan is to come back and vlog that movie at some point. And there's the guy from Night of the Living Dead who attacks him in the cemetery. I mean, you know what's great about that movie is they set it up right before that. So you're, you're kind of in a weird way glad that Johnny gets attacked because he's so obnoxious and complaining he has to go visit a relative in the cemetery. This guy is in some weird way kind of a hero at one point. <laughs> but he's the first quote unquote zombie or, or living dead guy that we see. This is talking about how during the making of Night of the Living Dead, they used a farmhouse and the house was rented and outfitted with thrift store furniture and um, part of the production team actually lived in the house while they were making it. And then here you can see screen use Sheriff McClellan ammo belt. Because of the obvious threat to untold numbers of citizens, and because of the crisis which is even now developing, this right there in the picture. Here we've got the lights used for the farmhouse interior. These were used in Night of the Living Dead. That's so cool. And the farmhouse, I believe, is long gone. Those are all famous pictures and moments from. Night Living Dead. And then this is showing how they attached fake blood bags to his back, which set off with an electrical charge. There's the production team. And here it says, if Night of the Living Dead frightens you to death, you are insured for $50,000. $50,000 policy covering death from heart attack has been 
obtained through a leading international insurance company in London for anyone in the audience during a performance of Night Living Dead during the special engagement of this feature. Well, there you go. Here's some production photos. There you can see where the car was parked in Night of the Living Dead when they arrive and where the quote unquote zombie attacks them. Throwing that rock through the window and then here's where she's getting attacked. Now it looks like they have quite a few rooms on both sides of the hallway. So we're gonna go in here and right away we have the Evil Dead work shed. That is unbelievable. Talk about another awesome movie. Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. And then here's the cabin interior wall, it says. So it's not just George Romero movies here. And here are the stones from the fireplace, cabin fireplace. Those are all just made out of foam, fake rocks. And it's not a recreation, that's actually the one used from the movie. That is so cool. God, I just want to touch it, just once. And then that is the interior hall door from the movie. That's so cool. <laughs> Bruce Campbell, Ash, and there's Evil Dead 2, Propolikes tape recorder and Necronomicon pages. The ne Necronomicon is what unleashes all this. Now that door is also another interior hall door and these are not the original saw and sawed off shotgun but they have prop lookalikes. They call them propolikes. Now look at what else all they have for Evil Dead. That's part of the tree, that forest tree. That's the cabin roof. I'll let you guys the window frame. Uh, one just up and end up the exterior oh, wall right there. And then look, the windows. <laughs> That's awesome. And those are from the movie as well. And then right over here, we have the two cabin doors. It's pretty cool. So it sounds like they had more than one museum, but after COVID, they consolidated it to two. Let's we'll see what we have in here. Mind Hunter screen used jet airplane cabin set. I've never seen that movie. Huh, pretty cool though. Cause that's very old school, old style fabric. Dates the plane. There's the set decor for the, looks like the mayor's office and police department. The flag was in the movie as well. These are all screen used. And that's uh, Holden Ford's hospital IV stand. And then we have the screen used map from the movie of Atlanta. These are in the movie for police department scenes. So we're all just bulletin board type stuff. Involuntary hospitalization for mental oh, illness. Right. And here we have production used props. For those of you that have seen the movie. Makes me want to watch it though. If it's good enough to make it in this museum, it's gotta be a good horror flick. Now we're working our way. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> this is called the Timeline of the Living Dead. So, this one. 1970, mentioning Night of the Living Dead here. And then I never saw this one that this guy who looks like Andy Warhol is in. <laughs> Shockwaves. That's what it is, but I never saw it. 
And then of course, Dawn of the Dead, which I love. To be honest, I just promised my girlfriend that I wouldn't do all the great George Romero stuff without her, so we're saving Dawn of the Dead for when she's here. And then of course, Zombie. That's a bizarre, bizarre movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget when I was asking a friend of mine for recommendations on good horror movies and he goes, well, Zombie might be the worst I've ever seen in a good way, but also a bad way. Then of course you got to give Michael Jackson credit because if it weren't for Thriller, I mean, that was what probably got a lot of people into horror and also afraid of horror. I've known people that said that they were more scared of Thriller than anything else they'd ever seen. And then of course he's from Day of the Dead, which I love. I actually, I think maybe Day of the Dead is my favorite, surprisingly, and then Dawn of the Dead. But I love them all. And I love Dead Alive. I would love to go do filming locations for Dead Alive. So here they have some Creep Show replica stuff, which I love Creep Show. Then they have a Day of the Dead. Original prop, screen used mask, right there. I I also love Land of the Dead. I know a lot of people that didn't like that. I saw that in the theater. I loved it. And then look at that. That is screen used from Day of the Dead. That's so cool. And then a George Romero puppet. And then this door is from the movie The Crazies. Screen used and signed. It's got all the blood handprints on there. That's great. And it says that Evans City gets crazy. The Crazies is a 73, 1973 horror action film about the effects of accidental release of a military biological weapon upon the inhabitants of a small western PA town. Both filmed and set in Evans City. There's one of the costumes from the crazies. And of course we have to honor George Romero. So here's the Mall of Fame that if you were affiliated with a George Romero movie or in it or anything, you can put your handprints. So let's see. Look at all the people that have done it. I noticed Ken Forey was over here. And there's George. Stay scared. You don't find me. If you don't find me, draw That one's the gray suit zombie. <laughs> You're adding to the Mall of Fame. I'm putting the red on it. Rub it in there to get a little texture. Alright, so when you put it in there, make sure you put your palm in tight too so you don't, you know, so you get all the whole So thing. keep my fingers together? However you want it, you can. Do your whatever you want okay. with your fingers. You can do different things. You like this? Like that's if you like that, that's good with me. And then once you press hold it in for a bit. And then when you're ready to pull it off, just sort of pop it off and it'll leave like a little bit of a textured pull. Okay, that's a good one. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. All right. Now we're how is it is talk to Kevin? We're still happy. I never got any of those and got any of those somehow. Oh, Johnny. Those. They're coming to get you, Barbara. And I have gee, I'm interested in any of them. You know, how much do you want for them all? And so, you always take care of your personal business, of course. And here, this room is a model of the Monroeville Mall, probably for them planning out how they were going to film Dawn of the Dead, as like a, uh, so you can see there's JCPenney, and there's the fountain and everything. I'm not even going to show that stuff in this mall. They even have a statue of George I'm not going to show because we'll save it for another vlog, but they have the sconces, the original mall lights, and they're Signed by Tom Savini right here. That one is Special Effects Man. And that one's signed by George Romero. Stay scared. 
And then this one is showing what a Monroeville Mall uniform would have looked like during the era of 1978, time that they filmed the movie. And they have part of the original escalator here. Part of it from Dawn of the Dead. This would have been near JCPenney. Now we're walking into here, and here we have the original elevator from the mall, from the JCPenney part of the mall from Dawn of the Dead. It's all reconstructed. That was exactly the one that they used. They got the door, ceiling, side rails, lights, key panel, and button panel. That's crazy. Moved an entire elevator room here. <laughs> That's nuts. I love it. I love the commitment. <laughs> and you can see the guy coming out of it. And then these are Dawn of the Dead screen used props, including the SWAT team rifle, the turtleneck, and the gas mask. And a signed poster by the whole cast. And then here, we have an entire case full of props. We've got the production props from Dawn of the Dead. The JCPenney alarm bell. Spam, a bullet, actual bullet from Dawn of the Dead down in there. The fire extinguisher sign, that's awesome. The ceiling lights from JCPenney. <laughs> The SWAT gear, Roger SWAT gear, right there, all that stuff. And Tom Savini cut out machete. An identified production, huh? Still cool to see his machete signed. This was Jim Crutt who played the helicopter zombies costume and headpiece. There you can see him right there in the middle. Kind of crazy. And then there's his costume. And as we wrap up this tour of the museum, they have an entire wall of signed photos from various people from various movies that George Romero made. That is awesome. I think we might have to get one of these shirts. I don't know. They have too many cool shirts to choose from. And even a <laughs> Christmas sweater. I think I'm going to get one of these. There's the Necronomicon. And there's a, an Evil Dead sweater. Very appropriately, the museum is right by the J.C. Penney, and we even get to take the escalators down. Hey, Scott, how boring was that museum? I'm kidding. <laughs> that was so freaking awesome, yeah, wasn't it? Cool. I like the escalator stairs are really cool, and uh, and the elevator. They moved an entire elevator yeah. in there. I love that. Yeah, that is really cool. So the event was so big that they had two separate locations in the mall. And this one, you could meet the cast of Day of the Dead. And then down the hall, you could meet cast members from Dawn of the Dead. I'm definitely enticed to come back for this next year. Okay, well, maybe I will show it since it was right down at the bottom of the escalators. George Romero. I'll read the plaque the next time we come. I don't want to ruin everything, but this was so cool. And thank you for the movies. George, I don't know what we would do without quote-unquote zombie movies. I know you didn't call them that, but... I love the, I guess, quote unquote, dead movies. <laughs> Night of the Living Dead. I even liked all the Return of the Living Dead, all that stuff. So this was really cool to get to do today. Well, my friends, we're going to call it a day. I mean, literally, until next time we're here, when we will be coming back, we're going to call it a night. Have a great night and watch out for living dead. Goodbye.